Hello guys! Welcome to the new episode of Ale Review Archive. I'm Architect Oliver and welcome back to my channel. Today I prepared the continuation of our topic, History of Architecture, Episode 9, Terminologies. So let's go! 201. In Roman fountains, the large basin of water. Answer. Lacus. 202. Spouting jets in Roman fountain. Answer. Salience. 203. The oldest circus in Rome. Answer. Circus Maximus 204 The Colosseum in Rome, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, was commenced by whom and completed by blank? Answer Vespasian and Domitian Again, the Colosseum in Rome, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, was commenced by Vespasian and completed by Domitian. 205. Who is the architect of the Erection? Answer. Minesicles. 206. A water clock of an instrument for measuring time by the use of water. Answer. Clepsidra 207. The finest of Greek tombs, also known as the tomb of Agamemnon. Answer Treasury of Atreus 208. Architect of the Temple of Zeus, Agrigandum. Again, Architect of the Temple of Zeus, Agrigandum. Answer? Teron. 209. Architect of the Temples of Zeus, Olympia. Answer? Libon. 210. Roman Architect of the Greek Temples of Zeus, Olympius. Answer? Cosusius. 211. Both the regular and the mutulae has gute numbering a total of blank. Answer? 18. 212. The quadrigas is a blank. Answer? Four horse chariot. 213. The water leaf and tongue is a usual ornament found in the blank. Answer. Sima reversa. 214. The corona is usually painted with the blank. Answer. Key pattern. Greek sculptures may be classified as architectural sculpture, freestanding statuary, and the blank. Answer? Sculptured relief. 216. One of the best example of a surviving megaron type of Greek domestic building. Again, one of the best example of a surviving megaron type of Greek domestic building. Answer, house number 33. 217, the molding that is often found in the Doric order. Answer, bird's beak. 218, 
the wall or colonnade enclosing the temenos? Answer? Peribolus. 219. The private house of the Romans. Again, what do you call the private house of the Romans? Answer? Domus. 220. Roman rectangular temples stood on a blank. Answer? Podium. 221. Roman large square tiles. Answer? Bepidales. 222. A type of Roman wall facing with alternating courses of brickworks. Answer? Opus mixtum. 223. A type of Roman wall facing which is made of small stone laid in a loose pattern roughly resembling polygonal work. Answer? Opus insertum. 224. A type of Roman wall facing with a net-like effect. Answer. Opus recticulatum. 225. A type of Roman wall facing with rectangular block with or without mortar joints. Answer. Opus quadratum. 226. A Roman structure used as Hall of Justice and Commercial Exchanges. Answer. Basilica. 227. A type of monument erected to support a tripod or a prize for athletic exercises or musical competition in Greek festivals. Answer? Koragic Monument 228 A type of ornament in classic or renaissance architecture consisting of an assemblage of straight lines intersecting at right angles and of various patterns. Answer? Fret 229. Figures of which the upper parts alone are carved, the rest running into the parallelo pipe and diminishing pedestal. Answer. Termini. 230. Marble mosaic pattern used on ceiling or vaults and domes. Answer. Opus Tesalatum 231 Who conceptualized the Corinthian capital? Answer Kalimakus 232 The sleeping room of the Megaron Again, what do you call the sleeping room of the Megaron? Answer, Talamus. 233. The origin of the door architrave. Again, the origin of the door architrave. Answer, Timber and frame portal. 234. The atrium type of house originated with the blank. Again, the atrium type of house originated with the blank. Answer? Etruscans. 235. Roman apartment blocks. Again, what do you call the Roman apartment blocks? Answer? Insula. 236. 
A building in classical architecture decorated with flowers and plants with water for the purpose of relaxation. Answer? Nympaneum. Two hundred thirty-seven, fifteenth to eighteenth century architecture. Again, what do you call the fifteenth to eighteenth century architecture? Answer: Renaissance architecture. Two hundred thirty-eight. Who said form follows function? Answer: Louis Sullivan. 239. The dominating personality who became an ardent disciple of the Italian Renaissance style. Answer. Inigo Jones. 240. A pillared hall in which the roof rests on the column in Egyptian temples. Again, a pillared hall in which the roof rests on the column in Egyptian temples. Answer. Hypostyle Hall. Two forty one. Who began the building of Great Hypostyle Hall at Karnak? Answer. Thotmes the First. Two forty two. Architect of the Great Serapeum at Alexandria. Answer. Ptolemy the Third. Two forty three. He created the Dymaxion House, the first machine for living. Again, he created the Dymaxion House, the first machine for living. Answer. Buckminster Fuller. Two hundred forty-four, tombs built for the Egyptian nobility rather than the royalty. Answer. Rock hewn tombs. Two forty-five, architect of the Lung Center of the Philippines. Again, who is the architect of the Lung Center of the Philippines? Answer. George Ramos. Two hundred forty-six. The warm room in the Terme. Again, what do you call the warm room in the Terme? Answer. Tepidarium. Two forty-seven. The hot room of the Terme. Again, what do you call the hot room of the Terme? Answer. Calidarium. Two forty-eight. The cold or unheated pool in the Terme. Again, what do you call the cold or unheated pool in the Terme? Answer. Frigidarium. Two forty-nine. The dry or sweating room in the Terme. Again, what do you call the dry or sweating room? In the Terme. Answer. Sudatorium. Two hundred fifty. The dressing room of the Terme. Again, what do you call the dressing room of the Terme? Answer. Apoditeria. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned something from this and I really hope na makapasa na kayo sa board exam and good luck.